Hello everyone. I've always been interested in other people's Home Assistant configurations. So I want to take you through some of the stuff that I have in my house and what I use it for in Home Assistant and show you some of the different integrations that I use. So let's go take a look. This is the AOTech Multi 6 or Multi Sensor 6 Z Wave. And I've got a couple of these. This one's in my uh, study. And what I use this for is temperature sensing in the front of the house as well as uh, automating the, the light that comes on when I walk in the room. Here is the second multi sensor six and this one's in the garage. I use this one basically for temperature sensing, lux sensitivity or lux sensing and humidity sensing. Especially when the cars get parked in the garage I want to see how much the temperature fluctuates. These are GE light switches, C-Wave light switches. I think I have seven of these. Uh, a bunch of them in the house and they have all of them that control the outside lights on the back deck and on the front porch and all of that. Just standard Z-Wave light switches. This is a linear GD00Z-4 Z-Wave garage door opener. Of course I use this to control my garage door and it's analog so it just takes the two wires that come out of it and go into the garage uh, controller basically it acts like a garage door button and whenever you activate it it opens it up and you can see over here that it uses this uh, door opening sensor and that's the sensor that tells whether the door is open or closed and I run some automations based on whether the garage opens or closes this is a an Aeon Labs DSC 06106 Z-Wave Smart Energy Switch and I have three of these, I think. One of them measures the, the uh, kilowatt usage by the washing machine, which you see here. And then I have two that control light switches throughout the house. This is a GE and Brighton Z-Wave Plus smart plug. It's a single outlet that's outdoor rated. I'm using it on a lamp. And I also, during holiday time, will use this on my outdoor Christmas lights or my outdoor lighting. And I automate all of this. Uh, the outdoor lighting using these switches as well and of course automate the living room uh, lamp switch So that it comes on right before dusk so the room doesn't get dark These are my nest thermostats. I have two of these one for the downstairs zone and one for the upstairs zone I only have a single unit in the house But I use uh, use it for two different zones and I also use automation for some of this as well This is my Shelly flood sensor. I have two of these one of this one's underneath the kitchen sink. I made a couple of videos about this one on how to integrate this into Home Assistant and the other one shows how I use it to alarm when there's an issue or when it detects water. This is a an ambient weather WS2902A smart Wi-Fi weather station. This is the display unit. I have the actual unit outside on the fence. I use this uh, for displaying weather within Home Assistant and it also displays rain amounts and can trigger various automations based on the rain. I also use Blue Iris as an NVR piece of software, which is amazing by the way. And I have a number of cameras. This beast here used to be my old uh, gaming computer and I've since removed the uh, video card from it and added a, another CPU fan that's quieter. And I run all my NVR stuff through this and all my cameras. This is what I run Home Assistant on. There's the UPS that I use, and this is a Lenovo ThinkCenter M series mini tower computer that I just picked up as a used item from one of the online retailers. And I also use this AOTech Z Stick Gen 5. That's my Z Wave controller that plugs into the USB port on the front of this mini tower computer. And just for fun, there's my Flume water meter that I use to, to measure the water uh, being used by my household. And these are some of the integrations that I use. My AdGuard, which I use for DNS here in the house. My Alexa devices are configured. And I use Nabu Casa for that to control my devices with Alexa. My weather station, of course, my Blue Iris camera system, which we talked about. And then I have my Neato robot vacuum cleaner is in there. Uh, Plex, I use own tracks for some of my uh, location tracking. My ring doorbell is integrated. Of course, the Shelly Smart Home, which I talked about, showed you the little device. And then I also have my Unify 
controller, which is my Wi-Fi and uh, internet gateway. And of course, Z-Wave that I use for controlling all my Z-Wave devices. I have a bunch of custom cards on here. Um, and you can just basically see all the things that I talked about. My home security system, my HVAC state, where I look at what my Nest is set to, um, which are these right here. And then I can arm and disarm my alarm system. I can arm and disarm what is called the Alexa watch or Alexa something, where it listens for glass breaking and fire or smoke detectors and things like that. And it will send me a message whenever I, uh, if it hears anything like that. Of course, all my locks, my garage door, um, whether the doors are open or closed, all my lighting is in here. I This is interesting. I had a problem with my uh, heater and it requires me to reset the heater unit that's in the attic. So I put one of those little GE outdoor uh, switches on it. And so I can turn off the heater unit, the, uh, I guess it's the fan system, and then turn it back on without having to climb up in the attic. Uh, there's my temperature from outside, uh, humidity outside coming through the uh, ambient weather system. Uh, those little multi-sensors that I talked about, the garage, temperature here. Uh, here's my nest temperatures here. That other multi-sensor up in the front of the house is the uh, is here. And then the weather station that I showed in the video actually has its own weather or own temperature sensor. And so I put that in here just to see what the temperature is in that bedroom where the equipment is or in that closet where the equipment is. And then just the weather card with the National Weather Service forecast for our area. It's getting toasty getting toasty. Um, I measure my internet speed and latency. Um, I have a couple of um, Google API calls that let me measure the, the time it takes or the, the current time to get to work and back home from work. Uh, battery sensors for some of my devices and then a feed card which basically just shows specific devices I select and what uh, has happened with them. So you can see we had motion eight minutes ago. I shut the garage door um, 14 minutes ago. And then uh, I get a couple other things where my media players are all in here. My Rokus are here. I can see what's playing on the Rokus and also control them. A lot of the times they're left on. The kids leave them running, streaming, and so I'll shut them off remotely. Uh, all the echoes, of course, tell me what's going on there, tablets. And then I have cameras that show me what's going on um, in the various parts of the house. Uh, here we just have a duplicate set of cards that I was playing with. And then my map for my vacuum cleaner uh, weather card, or well, not weather card. This is uh, just all my devices in one spot in a different format. And then the weather card that shows different forecasts and I, I have the dark sky forecast and the National Weather Service forecast and I compare the two just to see um, what the average of those two are to get a, kind of a better indication of what the temperature is going to be. I find sometimes the dark sky is kind of off and so I want to see both of them together to see what they look like and then we have our different temperatures with the uh, the histories. This is a lightning network detection uh, map shows any lightning strikes on the map here and then of course the radar and that's about it I hope you enjoyed looking through a little bit of uh, what my home setup is if you have any questions about uh, anything or how I've run it or set it up or anything like that just uh, send me a comment and I'll do my best to explain how I use that particular uh, setting or what I use to make that setting work again thanks for watching and subscribe, tell your friends, like my videos, and um, gives me kind of a, um, a little bit of incentive to keep going on these videos. I really enjoy making them and I really enjoy more when people watch them. See you next time.